everybody. It's me, Hetty. Let's make something yummy. So good. You'll love, love, love. If you've got a holiday party to go to or anything like that, this is quick and easy. Let them cool. Cut them. You're good to go. Okay. I'm going to go over my ingredients as I usually do. So in here, I have one and one half cups of packed brown sugar. I have one stick, which is half a cup of melted butter. I have two lightly beaten room temperature eggs. I have vanilla extract. And yes, I make my own vanilla extract. <laughs> and you can too. I'll have a link below. Okay, what else am I missing? One and a half cups of just all-purpose flour. And in this bowl here, I have one teaspoon of baking powder and three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. I have one cup of milk chocolate morsels. If you prefer semi-sweet or if that's all you have, that's fine. And I also have a cup of just coarsely chopped pecans. All right, the pecans are what put it up over the top. So now let me move some stuff around and I'll come back and let's get to mixing. Here we go. It, to our brown sugar, I'm, I had to nuke this about another eight or nine seconds just to get it a little loose. It had been out a little while, so it was trying to firm back up. I just take a spatula. You can use a mixer if you want to. I don't find that I need to do that. Might take a little elbow grease, but not really. Not too bad. And I mix that up together. So butter and sugar. In go my eggs. In goes the vanilla extract. I'm going to give this a good mix. Continuing on, I'm adding my baking powder and my salt into the flour. Uh, you can whisk it, you can sift, but it's not really good necessary for this particular recipe. Sometimes you definitely want to sift, but in this it comes together really easy. Okay, time constraint. I'm going to stir this up and I'll bring you back. Okay, that literally took not even 30 seconds, I don't believe. Okay, next is going to come in. I'm going to come in with my chips and my pecans, and then I'm just going to Fold it in. You cannot go wrong with this recipe. You absolutely cannot go wrong. Well, you want to be sure they're done. You don't want to underdo them and you don't want to overdo them. All right, look at that. Wasn't that easy? Okay, let me switch around and get my. Uh, number 13 pan out I'll be right back. If I didn't say it be sure to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and as always you know everything's down below all right getting ready to turn out my mixture into I just sprayed it with cooking spray you can butter it you can spray it whatever is what you normally want to do. And if you don't know any better, for a recipe like this, just go with cooking spray, really. It's not a big deal. All right. My hands are clean, everybody, so let's don't have a hissy fit. My hands are very clean. I just rewashed them in between takes. All right. And then all you're going to do is you're going to come in and spread it all out. And give me a minute. I'm going to do this. I'll bring you back. I apologize for... Uh, cutting away like that but it's really awkward the way I've got my tripod hooked up I know I know I got to get this rig fixed back but I spread it out now if you want a really thick one now you'd have to really watch your baking times I prefer to make mine a 9 by 13 and spread it out thinner it, it remember you got some baking powder in there so it's going to rise just a little bit but it makes just the right size bar almost just like you're going to be cutting cookies out so I like to do mine like this. You can do yours in a nine by nine and just keep a watch on it. It's gonna be more like 20 to 22 minutes. And as always, when you insert a toothpick, it comes up clean, it's done. 
This one will take more in between, I don't know, depending on your oven, in between 18 and 20 minutes, you'll just have to check it. Everybody's oven's different, and we've had that discussion many times. So anyway, I'll bring you back when these come out of the oven. Oh, yes, y'all, look at that. It's exactly 22 minutes in my oven. And I wanted to show you a secret here. Uh, not a secret, no big deal. I, I just use a butter knife half the time. It's easy. You use toothpick, skewer, bamboo skewer, whatever you want to do. But not even just in this pan. But this pan has a halfway mark. So what I try to do is when I am making something that I am going to cut long ways like this and into bars or whatever, I'll go down, but I try to go in halfway. I don't just haphazardly because the center, if it's done, the rest of it's done. Okay, so now we're going to let this cool down. Then I'll come back and cut you one. I already know it's going to taste good. Ask me how I know. I made a double batch last week. So, and I realized that I had not made these for a video. So I said, well, heck, they'll be wanting some more next week. I'll make some. But I told them, it's already getting into the holidays. I'm not making another double batch. <laughs> All right, I'll see you when these have cooled down. Well, about 25, 30 minutes probably. P.S. Don't rush them. You don't want them falling apart on you. Let them completely cool down. Completely. I know you want some. Slap that hand back. Let them cool. Let them do their work. You want them to set up good if you're going to cut them right. If you don't care, dig on in. You're go uh, they're going to fall apart on you, though. You know, so anyway, thought I'd give you that little bit of information. Resist. Resist. Hard to do, though. All right, y'all. It's been 30 minutes, and this is cool to the touch. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to just cut. Probably a sharp knife will make you, uh, let me get a sharp knife. A sharp knife will do this better because you've got pecans in here. you got chocolate chips. And I usually just cut like this. Then I'll cut about halfway here. And then I cut into little rectangles like this. If you, cut, you can cut them in little squares, like if you're going for an office uh, function or you can cut them like if you're just at home just cut them into rectangles okay how's that look at that and this makes 12 cookie bars if you cut them like me you get 24 if you uh, cut them into squares you know like this in fact I'll just for the video's sake I'll just do that. I don't need a whole one. They're too good. It's like chocolate chip crack. Didn't mean to offend anybody. I was just a saying. Anyway, look at that, y'all. Oh, yeah. Now watch. Soft still, but holding their shape. And these are so good, y'all. I hope you're going to make them. I hope you're going to try them. And... That's it for this video. I've got plenty more good stuff coming up. It's holidays. I've got all kinds of good stuff. So just stay tuned, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.